Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So we are at our base hill and it's uh, doing okay. Uh, I lost my horsey last time so maybe we'll look for a horsey today but we're going to actually do a few things hopefully today. Uh, maybe advance slightly in tech but uh, we're not going to follow much of the quest guide because uh, the quest guide kind of gets kind of stopped, show stopped basically with the need of certain things. I don't think I showed you this. This was going to be or is going to be sort of our new environment over time. Um, I built another couple coke ovens and I'm r running them here. Um, you can see there was something in there before. I'm actually doing coke coal now because uh, I actually found... Um, coal itself and so what I do is I smelt the coal in a regular furnace and then I put them in the coke ovens and then they turn to coke coal so I basically double their life and I can use them to make torches as well so uh, if we type in torch uh, you can get a decent amount of torches as well here um, so normally with a piece of coal you get three with a coke coal you can get five so just a wee bit of an increase which is not too bad and uh, I'm tired of doing the creosote. I'd rather just break the things and empty them out than do that. Uh, I noticed there was one quest to use lignite uh, to make some of this. So I uh, might as well throw this in here. It's another fuel source, basically. Uh, I don't know if it offers... Is it the same as coal? I think it's half of coal, actually. Or no, it's just a little less than coal. Uh, but you might as well use it up anyways and get it out there. And so you can see our my coal smelting there. And uh, like I said, the fuel value of these are 3,200. These are 1,600. So you get a lot more fuel uh, value out of it. My food is doing pretty good. Uh, they're pretty much full. I keep working on my farm when I need to. I found a lot more materials over time as well. Ooh, where are we going here? Here we go. Uh, so you can see the different stuff I've gotten over time here. Uh, we're continuing just you know gritting it out kind of thing looking sometimes they're a little odd because you know i'll find a cave and go to the next one but overall you can see them they're pretty much square and in a pattern so kind of kind of works out that way and uh one of the things i wanted to do is say i wanted to make a sleeping bag and there's a sleeping bag they actually added a new sleeping bag to the mod I used to use something like this uh, but now you make this thing here so you need a tan leather and then you need a tanning rack right so i see the tanning rack there so tanning uh, or rack tanned uh, what's the drying rack sorry drying there you go so a drying rack requires a screwdriver and then I think a screwdriver might need something else as well so this is when we can start working with some of the metals we got some iron so that's probably a good one to work with anyways um, and maybe we'll smell a bunch of iron as well once the uh, coal's done so that'll be interesting so let's look at the screwdriver so first of all, the screwdriver itself is going to require some rods. So uh, we, we'd make iron rods, but uh, either way, uh, I don't, I think these are special rods, uh, but I'm not quite sure. So uh, probably need a, a hammer. And I don't think we've made a metal hammer of any type yet. So a hammer is basically a stick and uh, a stick and uh, some metal. So that seems pretty simple and uh easy to do so there you go sort of like the soft hammer but this is a hard hammer there you go oh there you go and uh then you want a file i guess so here's the file and you could probably go backwards on this maybe not uh basically you need a hammer oh a hammer for the ingots i see so uh one two three four probably i'm guessing there, oh no that's the wrong kind there you go you gotta be careful because one means one thing and another one means another. So there you go. You got a file. Oops. And there you go. And then the screwdriver itself, I think, is like kind of uh, a combo of it all. But I'm not 100% sure. So we'll figure this out here. Uh, yeah, hammer and file. Uh, but that doesn't make the rods. I don't know how rods are made. Oh, okay. File is made with... Uh, okay. Okay. So if you use a saw, you get more efficiency out of it, but we don't have that yet. So uh, I guess you just do that. Now, I'm conf was it a wooden part of that or a stick? Okay, it's a stick for two of them. Okay, there you go. So I guess one is the file, one is the hammer. Then you got this and then a stick. I don't think that's quite right, but you get the idea. Oh, sorry, they're up like this. There you go. So this is like, I guess, 
basically three basic tools. A uh, saw comes a little later as well, um, but like sort of like the hand tools that you'd probably use quite often. And uh, I was going to do this off camera, but I thought this would be kind of important to do it together. So I was like, you know what, let's just do that then. So uh, let's do drying rack now. Now we have to make sc wooden screws, which I think is a two step process. Yeah. So you got your stick. Um, actually, maybe saw is right away then. I thought saw was later, but I guess saw is early game. I don't know how to make these though. Oh, okay. Plates. So it is Christmas. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Was it a file or was it, I think we screwed up somewhere. Okay. Let's go back to here. We're getting somewhere there. Uh, do, 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 not the chainsaw. Come on, come on. Here it is. Saw. There you go. And, oh, file and hammer. So we do file and hammer. And then we get that. And then I think it was like this. Ah, there we go. Now we have the saw. I was thinking, you know, it's kind of weird that you don't do them all at once. And then it's like, actually, apparently you do them all at once. So uh, at least we've figured that out. So let's do eight of these for now. And there you go. And then you do this with, I believe, the file. Yeah. And then you can make your drying rack. So in the end, you're probably going to want to do a lot of these. But that's up to you, of course. You're your own person. What is that line? Lion King quote, if you ever come back. Let's just do some more wood there. Okay, so drying rack. Uh, let's do, let's get some more screws here. And, uh, I don't know if I need this many, but I feel like just doing this. So I'm going to do this and then we'll go here. So you, you'll do quite a bit of damage with these tools. They're not invincible or anything like that, clearly. So keep that in mind. And then I want to do these guys. Oh, it's just a saw. I haven't figured out how to do that. So I'm a little happy that I can do this now. Uh, there you go. And then you basically can fill these in, these in, take your screws. And I think that's the screwdriver. And there you go. And then you want leather. Leather. It's not like leather is hard to find. I just thought I can be lazy and just hit T. There you go. So here's leather. Here's more leather. And there's a lot more leather somewhere else, apparently. Oh, here it is. There you go. So we got over two stacks of leather. Awesome. And we'll put this in our new place since I want to use it a bit more. Of course, getting back and forth like this is going to cost us some sprinting food energies, but whatever. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, whatever. I went off a bit. Oh, you didn't. There you go. Okay. And then we put these on and they take about, uh, I think five or six minutes. You'll actually notice them quite easily. Cause I think they have a darker color or even some details to them to notice. But when you hover over them, they'll probably say anyways, Oh, maybe it's just image, but either way, it shouldn't be too hard, but either way, that is our, uh, our basic tools, which is awesome because that means we can do a lot with that. I uh, finally did my first casting. Um, I already told you guys I would do this, and so I'll show this. Uh, back here, uh, we have the um, aluminum bushes. So I need to probably grab them a little more often. What did he say? Um, so yeah, if we go over here, 
basically I just dumped these in here. And oh, I built this quite bigger. I, I don't think we've done anything since this. Um, this is quite bigger now. Hello. Uh, basically, uh, it works well. Uh, I made a casting table here. So casting tables are actually really easy to make uh, and pouring your casts. But uh, the idea is you take your cast from whatever here and then you can pour it and you can put these in as well in the chest. Um, so this is just a simple way of doing it. So uh, let's just say you wanted a plate or whatever, you can do this way. Unfortunately, plates are useless because I need a, like a forge table or whatever for that. So it's kind of all this is pretty much useless for me right now. Um, even the cleaver. But over time, I might want to make another weapon. But basically, uh, you get the stone version of whatever. So uh, you pour in the stone. And then uh, when you do that, you can uh, make your... Uh, you place the stone in here and then you pour the cast on top of it but it has to be aluminum brass which we got quite a bit here and i got more aluminum in there and the way the aluminum brass works is that uh, you just need some copper i believe copper and i think it's copper and then the aluminum mixes into it and then it, you can pour it and it makes a cast and just takes one aluminum brass per cast basically so it's pretty simple uh i'm sure most of you have done this before i just explain it just to make it simple for people who might not know uh to make a saddle i think it's actually easy to make uh pig iron yeah so pig iron rod is it all pig iron or can it be oh iron ring rod okay so it's just an iron rod which now we know how to make and a piece of carpet and then one tanned leather to make the saddle so saddles are uh, very easy to make the horse armor on the other hand a little more complicated um, probably more expensive than complicated but uh, I wonder if the diamond one is the same style because I could make diamond horse armor but I feel like it diamond armor is much more expensive diamond plate yeah actually it's much more expensive uh, I had a feeling it might be, but I wasn't sure. I wonder if the uh, gold ones can be made. Yeah, it could be done by the hammer. So the diamond ones can't. They have to be machine done, so you couldn't do diamond armor. Um, so there you go. You got your aluminum brass. Awesome. And uh, so I was thinking of making a sleeping bag, like I was saying before. So a sleeping bag. And a sleeping bag will just let us sleep at night. So we can do carpet and then light gray or wool, basically. And uh, so let's go ahead and uh, start doing that, I guess. I'm trying to think where some wool is these days. I think wool is like this. No, it's like on the outsides, I'm pretty sure. They're like that. There you go. There we go. And uh, we need to make a couple of these into carpets, I guess. Oh, damn, that's expensive carpeting. There might be a, a, be, uh, a more cheaper way to make the carpets. I don't know, though. Oh, there you go. So two with a saw now will give you three. So there you go. So that's a, a better recipe now. And then, uh, yeah, so that will work. Do we have a crafting table? Yes, we do. The old uh, sleeping bag, if you used it past 128, you'd actually fall through the world and die, just to let you know. So that one's gone, though, so thankfully. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not quite ready yet. Now, we could put a door in here, but most doors would cause problems without... Uh, because zombies can break them down. But there is a door I think you can use that I got. And I don't think zombies know about those. But uh, I wonder what an iron door costs to make. We might be actually able to make one. Oh, never mind. Steel bars. Well, somebody's a bit of a dick. Uh, we do have a door of some sort, though. Uh, not that door. We have another door, I think. There it is. I don't know if this door would work. But you could have two layers of doors anyways, right? It's a long tunnel, so I feel like a zombie wouldn't break in unless they really know you're in there anyways. So multiple doors probably isn't going to save you in the end, right? But you could go like this, right? And then another one here. Something like that. It's like, does this look the same as those pretty much? Yeah. The tanned one has definitely different looks to it. Oh, yeah. It looks a lot darker. 
And that's, uh, if you're wondering how I'm doing that, that is, um, oh, what the hell is that mod called? Oh, such a cheap mod usually in vanilla without like having mods making it harder. Draconic Evolution. I was like, I knew I had a name. Anyways, Draconic Evolution uh, does the P where you put an item in your hand and you just put it on the ground. And you can right click it. Cool, huh? And uh, you can make a little tables like you saw that. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, yeah, we were going to put some stuff in here. So you can see the coal here. I'm just going to rip the coal out of here. Actually, for one of the quests, I need a bunch of iron. So I guess I could do that now. And Lignite, I think, was one of them. So I should probably get a quest indicator here in a second. Magnetite, 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 magnetite. I just need iron over time. So it's like, dump it in there. I mean, this is not the most efficient process method. You know, there's better ways in the future, but right now, since getting this is really easy and it just, you know, takes a bit of time, I don't mind dumping it in there like candy, right? So, dump away. Uh, so, one of the quests here are, um, there you go, just another fuel source, basically. It's nothing special at all. You get a coin and a piece of food. Uh, over time, I need to sort, as you can see, make more chests because things are getting a little messy. Awesome. I wonder if we've opened more coins over time, or... Huh. wonder if you open them over time. Loot bag seed. Maple syrup. Ah, a maple sapling. I feel like some of these, if you don't do them, maybe you don't get them over time. So maybe doing them is kind of important. Okay, let the iron do its thing. And oh yeah, my small tree. So I did the seared stone brick. And uh, yeah, so I was using the plates, of course. And uh, it worked out really well, actually. So I kept stacking it up higher, of course. So you got a lot more space inside now. Uh, if we go ahead and look, you can see all the space in here. Uh, so you put this in here, you get a better idea, you know, the spacing. So pretty cool. We'll put these in the ovens, get more out of it. I got different pants. I found some, no, I killed a boss mob or whatever. We call them boss mobs. And it gave me uh, the enchanted, uh, enchanted armor. So it's kind of a bit of a badass there. See, I would like to pick these up, but I don't think they're ready, but it's kind of item leather. Oh, it says leather. Okay, definitely still leather then. It's because like I'm like thinking maybe I just don't know what it looks like, but no, we're we're definitely on leather mode still. My pick is doing good. Um, oh yeah, and I put an iron. So I made the iron hatchet. I made the head for it, of course, and so it's a, you know, it's a decent hatchet to be honest. Uh, everything's pretty good. The shovel is the best. I'm happy with the pick even. So, um, and of course, you know, you repair these now all with iron. So. But they last a lot longer as well, so that's always good too. Oops. Uh, the, yeah, the shovel's kind of eh right now, but uh, everything else is pretty badass, so I'm happy about that. And I pick this up. Oh, I was hoping to have the sleeping bag. I guess Electro's going to make it day, so we won't be able to actually use the sleeping bag. It'll be down the road because, well, I just don't have... Uh, it made yet, unfortunately. I don't think the drying rack has to be outside or anything like that. I don't think there's like conditions to that. I mean, anything's possible, but let's see. Drying rack not working. Um, what is this? I wonder... Oh, I'm an idiot. It's bound leather. Ah, uh, you are an idiot. Okay. 
we would have been sitting here forever, 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 forever. I was starting to think I derped up, but I wasn't sure, and uh, now I know I definitely derped up. So that's good, I kind of figured that out. I was starting to get a little worried about it, so... One, two, three... Okay. So you have to make a special leather, unfortunately. Unfortunately, as in I wasted all that time, but whatever. And it's a 10 minute, so I'm going to end up making it off camera because now we'll be wasting time, right? 60 seconds, or yeah, 600 seconds, that's 10 minutes, isn't it? So, uh, anyways, yeah, so uh, I'm sorry I derped up there. I probably did this in the past too, so we'll just say that's that's cane for you. I don't think I have any more of these, but we can make these. Yeah, there you go. One, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. And then, um. Wait, what? Oh. Not that part. We want to do this part. So we got how many? 16, 32. This will be perfect for 32. But then we need for the leather, for the bound leather part, we're going to need leather. Thankfully, we have this leather out here, but we're going to need a lot more too. Um, there you go. Not quite enough though. So we're going to have to finish it inside. And then we can go ahead and grab these ones here, I guess, while we're out here. Get our cotton. Now you see why you need cotton. Lots of things that use cotton for overtime string. And the uh, other stuff there too. Kind of miss magnet mods. I mean, this is doing pretty good anyways. But uh, just miss the idea of you never have to worry that you're missing something, because you know you always have it. But we'll we'll eventually make a a, uh, a magnet anyways. Walk it, Kane. Walk it. Walk it real good. Oh, it's like a pumpkin scary face. <laughs> Welcome to my dungeon. Okay, so we get rid of this. And then, uh, there you go. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There you go. And now we can do this properly. And then, of course, I'll use this to make the sleeping bag. And uh, we're all set there. There you go. Perfect amount. And it was... Uh, how much is it? I think it was just... Yeah. I think it was three of those, three uh, of the other stuff, three of the other stuff. Yeah. Does this convert into the new one? No. Why would you want to convert in this one, though? Oh, for adventure backpacks. Never mind. So three, three, and three. Okay. And then uh, I think I can't craft those. Might as well craft these up over time so they're there. Okay. So one, two, three. There you go. And then... Like now we'll just throw everything around like an idiot. One, two, three. It's like we're such a messy. Oh, these are like tools right now, or I could use them for tools. It'd be smart if I use them for tools. Not mess everything up again. Boom, 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 boom. And then it's like you can mess everything up in this one. And then I'm gonna go out and start getting uh some of our friends. This should probably look at all the XP we're getting. There you go. So now I'm just like throwing them whenever I can. That's pretty bad. Okay. So we finished this one anyways. So Stone Age. Oh. There you go. Uh, so we can pick that or one of those of course. There you go. Oh. Maybe you should accept the quest. And here's the sad thing. It's starting to do all the tam uh, the tools. 
This is a what weird hammer is that? I have no clue what the hell the other hammer thing is. Okay, so it's starting to get me to do all these, which is kind of funny. So, uh, soft mallet and hammer. <laughs> it's like maybe we can run a little over time and do some of these. So, uh, let's do. I just need some sticks. Oh, shit. You're going to just be a pain and not offer me sticks. So, screw you. There you go. There you go. Um, is it a crafting quest? Yes. So soft mallet, you can't make, you can't use one of these because you're going to have to craft it. Which I might have just used all our wood up, but maybe not. I feel like I should have had some wood left somewhere. But I know I've used quite a bit over time, so. There you go. Oh, here. oh no, I thought that was like 21, not 2 and 2. That is beautiful. There you go. Save by some wood. Okay. So we'll make the soft mallet now. We'll get three wood types. We'll see if these are really or dictionary. And then uh, we'll make ourselves the heavy one. There you go. I knew this was going to come out. But uh, I didn't think it would be right this second, but there you go. And then it wants you to make the wrench. Wait, did we ever make the wrench? No, we didn't make the wrench. So there's another tool we uh, kind of failed at. There you go. So there's the wrench. Awesome. And then you need the file, of course. So the file was the planks or the things. So we put uh, this up the top. Do 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 just four for now just in case and then there's your file it does them all at once too and then you get your screwdriver of course which was uh oh crap is it the file that did that part or no or was it the two things that did that part uh we'll just type in screwdriver here How did we do these again? Oh, that's right. There you go. Okay. Okay. And then we got that one done. And then you got the saw. Which the saw was the one that I think was like this. And then it was the screwdriver and the file, or the file and the screwdriver, or maybe it was the hammer and the file. Oh, there it is. And then we did this. There we go. So we just built, built, built all the tools again, but that's not a problem at all. I'm happy we did that. So uh, I guess you don't get to pick. You just get to claim. Oh, here we go. So we're doing the tan leather literally right now. Leather. Uh, so let's see if we have enough of these guys. Like, where did you put all the leather, buddy? Okay, you, 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 and you. There you go. Quest detect. And then the drying rack. It wants to make an actual drying rack, so that that's not hard since we know how to do that now. The only question is, do I have enough... Pretty sure I had more slabs, didn't I? You know what? Maybe we didn't have more slabs. Oh, here they are. I was like, I thought we would have had more slabs. Okay, so... Uh, drying rack. So now you get to make all this again. Fun. So you get your screws. Uh, we, we did their screws pretty good before. You might actually get more cutting these, by the way. I don't know if you do, though. Oh, there. You get four if you use a saw. But it costs you materials, of course. But it could be useful over time. 
And I don't know if these give you more. Probably not. Oh, there you go. So there you go. So you can use your saw for that if you want. And then the screws, I think, were like this and it was sawed. Or like this and sawed. There you go. And then these like this and filed down. And then one, two. And then I probably didn't need to make all those, but whatever. And then the screwdriver. There you go. And then the bound leather, which uh, we can make that now. Wait. Yeah, I was going to say what? So bound leather. There you go. And then you need your tan leather, which will work in a second. And then what other quests do we have here? Uh, stone spear, iron shield. Oh, better lunch box. I want that actually right away. Lunch box. So I can have everything in one lunch box. Uh, the only problem is I don't know how to make these and now I do. Okay, so one, two, three. Boom, boom. And then like this, I think. I've done this or I seen this already, didn't I? I think I needed more, by the way. One, two, three. I think I actually have to stack them more, so let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, it was. You were right. Give yourself a hug. Okay, and then you need iron? Oh, no. Are you... Please be normal iron. Iron screw, okay. I was getting a little sad there. Iron bolt, iron rod. Okay. So... File and one, two... And then saw, and then file again, there you go, and that's it I think, there you go, so one, two, three, and I think that's a screw, not a file, and one, two, and there you go, and then you can replace that for good, so you can make whatever you want, Supreme Pizza, BLT, you just have fun with it my friends. There you go. And then, yeah, so you can take these, and literally this is just to replace this, right? So uh, you open these, and open these, and then one, two, three. One, two, three. This will be a bit better getting them in correct order now. And then shift click to seal that up, and there you go. Might as well throw this wherever we can right now. There you go, there you go, perfect. So there is our new lunch pail, all good. And then what else we have here? Gardener. Oh, so it wants us to make a hoe and all that. Okay. And then, of course, the tan leather, better storage. And uh, Chad, make paper. So it wants us to do quite a few little things now. So that's kind of exciting. So let's get the, the uh, bound leather and then we'll finish it here. And then uh, next time we'll go ahead and grab some of the rest of the stuff if we can. Maybe I'll prepare to make sure we have enough. And that's definitely bound leather. You can also see it up there. And it's all bound leather. Yeah, so. Whee. And we'll do the sleeping bag on the next episode just to be that guy, I guess. Yeah, because I got rid of everything anyway. So what's in the bag, by the way? Ew, samplings. Okay. And then... Uh, Oh, there you go. It's opening a whole bunch of new stuff as well. So there you go. Drying rack. You can get the bag or the crap. I'm going to get the bag, of course, because why not? A piece of glowstone. <laughs> now, now. Free gifts shouldn't be uh, laughed upon. And, uh, yeah. So, I think we're good there. And then the next episode, we'll continue on here and uh, see how we go. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.